In this video, we're going to look at finding the inverse of a rational function. So if we have something in the numerator over something in the denominator, especially if we have an x in the denominator, even if it's just a constant up top, the technique wouldn't be much different. So first thing, I'm going to write it as my f of x is y equals 3x minus 1 over 2x plus 3. A lot of times you will hear swap the variables and solve for y. I don't teach that. I just say solve for the input variable. So I'm going to solve for x. So that's my goal. So we want to solve for x. So anytime you've got a denominator in there, basically you want to get rid of it. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2x plus 3. x plus 3. So that will cancel this denominator out. I don't have to deal with the denominator anymore. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm, if I look now, I have x's on both sides. I have 2x plus 3, the quantity times y, equals 3x minus 1. I need to get those terms with x in it on the same side. So I'm going to distribute this y to both terms. Both terms. It's got to distribute over the parentheses. So 2xy plus 3y equals 3x minus 1. Now I can move all the terms around. So I'm going to put both terms with x, let's say on the left hand side. So I'm going to subtract a 3x off of both sides. And anything without an x I'm going to put on the other side. So minus 3y, minus 3y. So I have 2xy minus 3y equals negative 1 minus 3y. The reason we did that, sorry, minus 3x, excuse me, that should be minus 3x, our 3y is canceled. The reason we did that is so we could factor out x. So I can rewrite this as x times the quantity 2y minus 3 equals negative 1 minus 3y. So my final step is to divide both sides by 2y minus 3 and that will cancel over here and I have my inverse. Last thing we'll do if we're asked to write it in inverse notation we might be asked to write it as f inverse of x so because we're using x as our input variable I'm going to write the same thing except I'm going to use x's in place of the y's so minus 1 minus 3x over 2x minus 3 and there we have our inverse function.